Hello all once again, I apologize for being aware for so long and of course what we're going to do today is be quick and brief and look at three primary obstacles that most of us like myself, which is an amateur, in reference to basically Tweepy and natural language processing and sentiment analysis. Primarily the problem we're going to address first is the installation of contractions, then how to filter retweets to get them out of the way with Tweepy and also at the same time to the query method. How do you query more than one term? Well, it's very similar as you would do with a Python data frame, but let us begin. Contractions, let's look that out of the way first. All right, all of us run into this problem with installation of contractions where we cannot import it. How you get around that workaround now until you have a better workaround is you install contractions equal equal 0 0.0 0.18, 0 0.0.18. Don't get into or ask me why it works, but it does work well. And once you install contractions on that Boolean type symbol per se, you'll be golden. And I'll show you that in a second too. All right, then you import to Tweepy, JSON, if you utilize JSON contractions, uh, rejects, uh, regular expressions, I mean natural language uh, tokenizing, emoji and string and so on and so forth. All right, you don't have to install all this, but this is what I am utilizing. All right, then you're probably gonna want stop words and so on and so forth. You can just copy my code as is. And as we proceed, for example, just to refresh it, this is my Twitter feed. And so this is how you make sure everything is working. So your API, home timeline, and then you always loop through for tweet and public tweets and you loop. All right, now, Here's when we come to an issue. So let's look at our search results. As you look at the query here, again, you can follow the code. You do query parentheses, basically quotation, quotation, you could and, ors, or any way you want to do it. And the result type is mixed. Just follow the code directly if not, if, uh, not feeling confident. Include entities, I put true, tweet mode extended. The reason tweet mode extended is because I want the full tweet. What we're doing here is we're trying to basically scrape the information from Twitter for sentiment analysis. Now that's a caveat to that, which I'll cover towards the end, but right now I want to get straight to the point. So a tweet mode extended is what you want to utilize. Then as you go to filter through, just remember this code, full text, full text, tweeted status. If not tweet, retweeted, try, da, 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 just go through there. And what I'm going to do is manu make a large string. And so let's run it through, see how it goes. Whoop, let's first run this code. And boom. And remember, we're only taking the first part of these thousand tweets. So then here we come with the information, as you can see, fit with a lot of different, you know, links, codes. It could have emojis in it, it, so on and so forth. It's very dirty as far as like a dictionary type or JSON file. All right, now here we go. Now. What we're going to do is we're going to filter through there and go to the text. Are you ready? And you'll see how it works. Now remember, this is going to be making plus minus or plus equal, I should say. It's going to be adding to create one large string. I'm not interested in each individual tweet on its own. I'm interested in basically mining it for sentiment analysis. So here we go. And it's going through and let's print it out. And here we have it. So basically it went through there it pulled out all the tweets. You can see it's still kind of messy. And if we run through now, what we want to do is want to filter out the retweets. Why? Because a retweet is going to skew us on sentiment analysis. It's not going to give us a fair objective of what each individual is thinking as opposed to what in what individual is thinking a lot or this is an emoji or being botted, so to say. So let's, for example, let's go through here. And let's find out what we may have. And there we have it. We have basically, you could see all of the retweets. And what we used here was regular expressions. And the chief nerd is doing a lot of retweeting or being retweeted per se all across the board. And now we'll skew our sentiment analysis. The objective here now is we want to get rid of that retweet. And here's the code that's important. You see right here? And again, when this is not an educational video trying to explain the premise of why and how and how it relates, 
This is just to get you the code you need so you can figure it out on your own so you can keep on moving forward. This right here, you see that now pay close attention. You see the plus sign there. Let's see if I can make that a little bigger for you. That's important. All right, you see right there, the plus sign. So here we have our query. We do not, I repeat, do not have a comma. We have a plus sign, a quotation mark, hyphen, some uh, colon, retweets, and colon, and then basically a comma. Why? I don't know, but that's how I found it works. Now let's rerun this code again. Uh, let's see what we got coming up. Here we go. And then we print out our code. One. Already looks a little different. Now let's see if we have, we'll use regular expressions and let's see if we have any further uh, retweet. You see the emojis and so on and so forth. All right, and here we go. Let's check it out. We have an empty set. All right, that's as far as I want to go in reference to this. I don't want to get into regular expressions and so on and so forth, or as far as contractions being fixed in the natural logarithmic processing. That's a whole different ball game. So basically, in short, to review, uh, in order to what we wanted to do, contractions. If you need that fixed, you install contractions equal equal zero point. 0.18, we get that fixed. All right, then after that, looking at query, your query parentheses, then put your words in there and or whatever it comes down to be. It only works for a few. If you do too many, it's it's not going to catch them all. Just as a, a hint ahead, you want the full tweet, you go extended. All right, and then you put into here, you put the full text, and you'll get the full text per se. Then if you want to eliminate the retweets because it's a pain and it's not going to give you an equal uh, a balanced sense of analysis. You basically put this code in. I'll put it right here. I'll highlight it. Filter retweets, which basically is plus quotation mark. And then oh, not a space. Let's not forget that there. And I'll put that in basically the YouTube aspect itself. Filter colon retweets. And therefore you get a nice selection without any retweet. And then you could go on to your basically regular expressions and get all that other stuff out of there, go to your contractions, your counts and so on and so forth. But we're not here for that. Again, I hope this helps. There are quick fixes, which I found out. Now keep in mind, I'm not a pro. I'm just an amateur at this in reference to sentiment analysis and data mining. And uh, it's not really clear through all the documentation that is out there and how to filter those retweets and how to filter those and how to fix those contractions and as well as too is how to query. So I want to put that in there and I'll put this line of code in the uh, YouTube thing so you could see it on your own. I'll leave it exactly as is and I hope this helps. All right, y'all. I'll catch you in a bit and see you next time. Bye.